Welcome back guys and for this final part we are going to be looking at ratio analysis. In this question we are asked to calculate the following ratios for the year end 30 June 2019 and we are requested to show up all calculations to the nearest two decimal places. So guys it is very important that you know your ratios, what your ratios are made up of, what goes into each ratio. Some ratios are easy to identify or to tell just from looking at the requirement, but some they are really, really, really extensively technical and you have to know what goes in into it. Okay, let's just look at it theoretically. Solvency ratio. Or let's go through the ratios that we have solvency ratio let's just think about it logically what is solvency to solve something is something that you do um, in totality and it's something that you're gonna get in total so as the solvency of a company is something that includes totality so you need something to minus or to subtract from something in total to get your answer so solvency looks at your total assets is to total liabilities solvency total total assets is to total liabilities that's your solvency ratio i'll just in include it there Total assets, total liabilities. Current ratio, current. The word current is supposed to give it out. We are looking at current what? Current assets, current liability. Solvency, total assets, total liabilities. Acid test ratio. Acid test. What are we testing? Really? Is it the acidity of the company? <laughs> no. But what are we testing? We are testing the ability of the company to still be able to pay its current liabilities while excluding its inventories. So our acid test is going to be your current... Your current assets less your inventory inventories is to your current liabilities. We want to see if the company is heavily reliant on its inventories in order to pay its current liabilities. Now, when you also know the ratio, it is easy for you to rationalize or to give interpretation of that ratio which is something that you have to do or you have to know how to do at this level return on owner's equity it gives itself out return on average owner's equity so what is it here return return what do we get in return it is your profit. Net profit over what? Your average. Your average owner's equity. Then the last one, operating expenses on sales. It's also giving itself out. Operating expenses on is the division sales. Okay. 
let's go and find these amounts. We are given information extracts from the income statement and the balance sheet. We need total assets. We're given tangible assets, we're given a fixed deposit, and we're given the current assets. So our total assets are made up of 2,250,000 plus 150,000 plus 1,287,500. That makes up our total assets. And that is to our total liabilities. We have current liabilities of 368,750 plus 818,750. Now we're looking at the 2019 financial year. When you have to comment usually more, more times than none, you would have to have comparatives in order for you to uh, do a proper um, analysis. So you would have had to do the 2018 year, but I doubt you would have to calculate it. They would give you rather your comparatives because it is very time consuming. Okay, let's find our values here. We have total assets of 3,687,500. And we have total liabilities of 1,187,500. One Okay, and then to find our ratio, to find our total asset, first we can always put this as to one. It'll always be a one. You don't even have to calculate that side. And on this side, you are going to say 3,687,500 divided by the 1,100,000. 875,000 and that gives us a 3.105 which you can be a 3.11 3.11 so what does this mean it means we have for every liability one we have 3.1 assets to cover it this really is a very good solvency ratio it means we are very good moving on to our current assets current assets we have 1,287,500 is to our current liabilities of 368,750 now on this side one as always and then we do it again one million two hundred and eighty seven five hundred divide that by three hundred and sixty eight seven hundred and fifty and we get three point four nine which we can say three point five what does this mean it means for every current liability we have three point five current assets to cover it which is also exceptional Coming to this, we already know that our current liabilities is 368,750. Our current assets, 1,287,500. But now we're removing our inventories, inventory of 300,000. Then what will that give us? 1,287,500 less 300,000. That gives us 980. 987, 500. Now we can do our ratio. This always one. And then 900, okay. 987 divided by our liability is 368,750. Now it is 2.67. You can say it's 2.7. 
2.7. Still a very good ratio. It means we're not really highly dependent on our inventories to cover our current liabilities. Okay. And then we have the return on average owner's equity. Return net profit. Our net profit is 525,000. Divide that by, we need our average. So average is 50%, 50% or one over two. I'll just put 50%, 50% of owner's equity for both years so it's going to be two million five hundred thousand plus one million four hundred and seventy five thousand and this needs to be a percentage so you're going to times everything by a hundred and if you do that it's supposed to give you twenty six point four one percent Okay, then we're doing our operating expenses and sales. Operating expenses is 700,000. Our sales, 1,875,000. You need to times that all by 100. And it should give you a ratio or a percentage rather of... 37%, 37.33%. And then we're done with our ratio analysis. I hope you understood. If you have questions, feel free to post them on the comment section and I will address them. Thank you.